All right, well, I'm coming live on my page here, uh, Jeannie Fritch, Conscious Relationships Mentor. And I'm coming live because I want to talk to you uh, about something that will transform in a very positive way any relationship at all. Even a relationship that's having challenges will be much more easily transformed through the, the energy of active appreciation. And that means you keep the appreciation energy active. It's not like you bounce in and out of it. You kind of learn to develop a muscle of appreciating things, finding things to appreciate. Now, I have some notes here. So if you see me look off to the side, it's because I want to make sure and cover every one of the possible types of partner relationships and how active appreciation can actually enhance um, and elevate the frequency, the level of energy operating inside of them. So let's talk about just the principle that appreciation will transform any relationship and, and how do you get to appreciation? One of the very, very easiest ways is to, um, to start your day in um, gratitude journaling. You can just um, sit and say out loud, you know, I'm grateful for the sun that is up today. I'm grateful for um, my dogs. My dogs end up on my gratitude list a lot because those dogs, I have two golden retrievers. We have two golden retrievers, my husband and I. And those dogs are so in the moment. They just demonstrate so much love and so much presence. And they'll want to have fun at any movement, any movement that I make. They're right there. They think we're going to have fun. There's going to be something fun happening. A treat, a ball throw, and I'm going to chase them around the house, something like that. Anyhow, I digress. When, when I journal, I always journal gratitude. I make a gratitude list um, every day. Um, very rarely do I not journal in the morning. It is a practice of mine. It is a, a regular practice. And I can only encourage you, um, if all you journal is just writing down three to five things that you can find in your world to be grateful for, that that energy of gratitude will, will elevate you right from the start of your day, literally right from the start of your day. Your, your whole energy, the frequency of gratitude is a very high frequency. And I remember um, hearing a uh, teacher once say that it's higher than love, that gratitude is even higher than love as a frequency. So gratitude is a great frequency to tap into really early in the day because it sets the tone for your day. Um, another thing that's really good after you um, write some gratitude statements. It's really, really good to write some I am statements. And when I write I am, I always write it all in caps. I am are in caps. And then whatever I'm calling myself or I'm recognizing in myself, I might be like, I am kind. I am gracious. I am wonderful. I am confident. I am loving. I am giving. Like whatever. You can just go on and on. Those those two things, if that's all that you did in the morning, you're, you would own your day in a very different way. And it would, um, it prepares um, the lens. Like we see the world through lenses. Like you, people always ask me, you know, I don't wear my glasses up here. No, it'll give me a headache <laughs> because <laughs> I think I'm, I'm I, I just have um, some, some challenges with things up close but I don't have challenges with things at a distance. And so when I'm, when I'm doing a live stream or I'm, I'm, I'm on a call or something, I, I needed to look down and see maybe my notes or to see my keyboard, but I don't need it to see you or to see into the camera. So anyhow, sort of a trademark of mine that I generally have uh, a, uh, a pair of, of uh, readers perched on the end of my nose. Again, moving on. When I um, look through the lens of the day, like I'm looking through a lens of the day, whether I have my glasses on 
where I have my glasses off, I am looking through the lens and it's the lens of my attitude, my, my demeanor, my frequency is coming through my lens. So if I start the day um, with a more upbeat, grateful, noticing of things, noticing to be things to be grateful for. That means my lens now is a noticing lens for the good. I'm, I'm seeking to notice. I've primed my lens. Appreciation is like you can, you can be in a relationship where you're just, maybe you're in a cold war. I know there are couples that uh, they're in a relationship that's challenged. They can't even speak to each other without um, it being aggressive or negative or uh, the tone is one of disgust, you know, start your day with gratitude. Start your day with gratitude. Look at your life. What are you grateful for? And then claim who you are in that day, whatever comes to you, right? I am intelligent. I am confident. I am productive. I am loving. I am kind. Start to claim things. Then when you go into the kitchen or you go to serve breakfast to whomever, or you go to interact with your children or, you know, your spouse, your partner, whatever the situation is, your lens will be different just because you've primed it. But now it's an intentional thing to overlook the irritating things and seek the things that you can appreciate about anything. It can be anything. Like I, um, I really appreciate how he takes his dishes to the sink, you know, or I appreciate that he moves them to the counter. I really appreciate that um, he enjoys eating. I appreciate, you know, how good he is with the children. I appreciate how kind he is to the dogs. You have to find things to appreciate and you find things in your life to appreciate and, and, and intentionally putting yourself in the energy of appreciation. It is an intentional thing, especially when, you know, a current, um, there's a current feeling of out of syncness in a relationship that you're, that you are committed to. Um, when there's that out of syncness and there are periods of time where one of you is growing maybe faster than the other, or you're kind of being pulled in different directions, different things in your life, um, maybe in business or things in your career, they're pulling you in a different direction. Um, maybe something's coming up in the family, something with his parents, something with your parents, um, something with a child. People respond to things and react to things differently. And we have to honor their right to respond or react accordingly. But what we can do is we can control us. I can honor that you are a free being and that you make your choices. Um, and I'm gonna find a way to appreciate certain things about you today. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna start with the lens of gratitude and a practice of gratitude. And then I'm going to move into um, looking for things to appreciate. Um, finding ways to create joy, just yourself. It doesn't have to be involving him or her, but you're, you do that intentionally for several days. You can't help but notice a shift in the frequency within the relationship because when one of the partners elevates, by definition, a, a relationship is two energies creating a, a, a third energy. If you know anything about a mastermind, um, the mastermind concept um, that Napoleon Hill introduced us to is, um, you know, many of these business minds would come together like big captains of industry and just in, in, in tossing ideas around, bigger ideas were created, that there's this extra mind of energy that's created, this, this space of intelligence that's the cumulative energy of the creation of the, the members. Well, a, a relationship is just like a mastermind. It's exactly what it is. It's a living, breathing mastermind. 
And so the partners, if one of the partners um, is more creative or is happier or just is um, emanating, not reflecting, but emanating light, you know, when you reflect, you're going to reflect what's around you. When you start your day with a practice that gives you that centeredness, you become almost like a pillar of gratitude. And then it emanates, it comes out. And the, the um, social form of gratitude is really active appreciation. And so if you're in a relationship that is challenged, even if you're in one that's not challenged, you can move that relationship to a higher, a much higher um, energy just by practicing appreciation. Um, I will tell you this, sometimes um, I, I do sessions with people who are going through separation um, or uh, on their way to being divorced or are divorced. This energy of appreciation is so important and sometimes um gratitude is just the start of it right gratitude is the beginning of it gratitude is the it's it's the way to kind of like um prime if you've ever pumped a well you know you go somewhere um out where it's not developed you might be in a park and there's a water pump there and you pump 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 and you have to prime it so you have to get the water up to the point when you finally hit it it just flows that's called um priming the pump and so gratitude is sort of priming the pump and then appreciation is the flow when you're in a in a separation there's probably a lot of forgiveness work that needs to be done that makes the um, energy of appreciation easier. Hey, if you're in a in a relationship that's kind of a little dysfunctional right now or not firing on all symbol on all cylinders, there's probably some forgiveness work to do too. I'm not saying that appreciation and this energy of appreciation is like the absolute fix it, fix everything, universal. Um, a cure, but it is a great, it is a great salve. It is a universal salve. It will um, enhance and elevate. You will start to, you know, intentionally look for things um, in the situation that you're in, or start to look at things that your partner or spouse um, is doing and, and, and choose to overlook, choose to see things, choose to find things to appreciate. And if you have children, that's what you want to do. I'm just saying, that is what you want to do. You're going through something. If you're in a separation, hey, if you're in a challenging dynamic relationship that's happening, your children are ears and feelings and they're catching it, right? That you and uh, mom or you and dad are going through a challenging time. Um, and if you're in a separation or heading, you know, like in the process of a divorce or fully divorced, boy, those kids, um, they're in the middle of, they're in the middle of a war. It's either a cold war or it's a war where there's bombs going off on a regular basis. And we want to, one of my missions as a mentor is to spare the children as much negative emotional fallout or what I call collateral damage um, as possible. And so appreciation and gratitude and then appreciation, that is, um, that is the most beautiful salve for any situation like that as well. Looking, it has to be intentional um, for a long time. It has to be intentional, but maybe forever in situations like that. It literally has to be intentional to look for things to appreciate and um, not default to the irritating things or the things that make you angry or the baggage that's not resolved yet. You know, yeah, think of your children, practice appreciation. Think of yourself. Think of yourself. Think of being alive now, living now in the now. And, and appreciation is an energy that you can only 
experience if you're fully present. So it's a wonderful practice appreciation. Now, what if you're single and dating and you're just, you just find yourself like running through, maybe you're, 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 you, you run these courses of time where you're in a relationship for so long and then it tanks and you're in a relationship for so long and then it tanks. Take a look at um, how much do you appreciate? Because generally early, early in relationships is when people naturally, um, they naturally operate in an energy of appreciation. They just do. They, they, they laugh at, at idiosyncrasies instead of being irritated by them. They notice, they're noticing, they're in the moment, they're much more present and noticing. And then people stop noticing, they stop being present and they can just get on a cycle of, you know, an endless loop of um, never really learning to intentionally apply appreciation and move a relationship to its next level of maybe sometimes they are lifelong loves and lots of opportunity to create lifelong love. But because um, you're in a pattern of, um, be, of, of only seeing the lack, not really appreciating what's the beauty of what's there, um, that can hinder, can hinder, um, uh, throwing your heart over the bar, so to speak, and really um, jumping into a covenant relationship, a commit, a commitment. And then I, I have people that I work with who they don't want to be single, but they just, they're just single. They're not even dating. They're just single. And I think that um, you have to appreciate you. You have to spend a lot of time appreciating yourself, finding things about you, finding things about your life to appreciate it starts there. Um, there's probably a block and it could be um, a block of, of worry that things are going to go a certain way that wasn't, maybe they went that way and it wasn't optimal in the past. Um, could be that. There's probably some forgiveness work in there. And the, all of this stuff, you would be surprised what you can accomplish just by a little accountability with a mentor and a little direction, boom, your, your frequency can be one that's um, higher, lighter, more ease, more flow, more relationship prosperity, more love, more peace, more harmony, prosperous relationships. They only happen through the energy of appreciation, active appreciation. And again, it starts out with an intention and then over time, um, eventually becomes just your, your operating basis. And it's a beautiful thing. And then you notice if you get knocked out of it, you notice. You're like, wait a second, I got to get back in the energy of appreciation because it feels so good to everybody. Much love to you. Talk soon.